Hi guys, it's Eva speaking. Welcome to a Sims 4 speed build video. Today I build the Gaia Thermal Bath. It is a thermal bath that is inspired by my favorite thermal bath in southern Germany, where I like to go as often as possible. And it's a swimming pool with warm water and whirlpools and sauna and massage and everything with wellness in one place and I enjoy it really much to be there and therefore I want that my sims uh, have such a nice place too that they can go to swim and have a sauna and everything wellness related but for me it was important to have a very nice swimming pool as well in the wellness uh, house and the type of the house is a little bit old-fashioned I don't know which style it is exactly so it was built in the I think in the end of the 19th century, so more than 100 years ago. And so there it was a special building style for big buildings. And I try to do my thermal bath in a similar style. But it's not an exact copy of this um, thermal bath where I actually actually like to go but it is more inspired by and here you you see I, I made a house and a swimming pool and this one is something like a plateau and inside this I put a small pool and that is higher than the other pool because of its foundation and so therefore the idea is that the water can flow from the higher pool to the other pool with a small waterfall and to uh, pour all the thermal water the healing water with such good ingredients into the big swimming pool and yeah, at the end of the swimming pool I made something a little bit rounded and this will be a little bit whirlpool-like as it is in the thermal bath uh, in Germany where I like to go. And so they have uh, small waterfalls for ma massaging the neck and they have lots of bubbling and um, steam and so and that your whole body gets a massage just from the water and I love it a lot and that you can have in this round shaped area and the rest of the pool is just for swimming and here I just made some stairs for the building so now the first the most important parts of the outside are done and now I can uh, concentrate on the building and I have these uh, things in between the floors that look so nice and old-fashioned and here some old-fashioned windows and some columns must be there, lots of them so in this building style they try to copy the ancient uh, Greek and Roman style a little bit but it's no exact copy, just the um, the feeling of it so with lots of columns and so on 
and as there have been Romans in this town where where my favorite thermal base is and they already had their thermal base at the same place you can see this old thermal base and visit it uh, everything there is in Roman style and called uh, with Roman names and so and here I'm just constructing the waterfall and I have made some stones around this pool and but I have cut most of it out because if not the video would have been much too long so I you will notice I cut a lot in this video to have it not too long yeah today I just built a new hard disk into my gaming PC uh, to have enough place for all the videos I will record and it's that is the biggest hard disk I ever put in a PC it's uh, 8 terabyte when I started with computers more than ooh, it's mm, 35 years ago 34 years ago then I my first hard disk was 10 megabytes so that is one mm, a, m a million times bigger is the new hard disk and this old hard disk was just big enough for a modern time a single image and we had all the um, the bookkeeping and address and database stuff everything was on it for of a uh, medium size business and now when i record a video of a game it is eating up the gigabytes like nothing so therefore i needed a new hard disk and I hope it will be enough for half a year or something like that. Um, uh, while I was chatting, I made the entrance area of this um, thermal base. So usually there is the uh, the cash where cash here where you have to pay for it, but in the sims gameplay you don't have to pay for a wellness temple and therefore it's just just a counter there and i made um, stairs as you maybe have seen there at the right side and yeah now i put some decorative uh, stuff on this counter to you know, show that it has something to do with writing and paper yeah and from this entrance area you have to go through the changing area so you can't just go into the thermal bay but at first you have to change and therefore there is no direct entrance into the thermal base but you go through the changing area and you change in your swimwear and so on or with a um, oh here what you something like a bathing coat or something like that and for sure there is a toilet and a shower in this area and in the actual real life thermal base there are more toilets and more lockers and everything's bigger in the changing area but the lot is quite small and I 
didn't want to spend so much place uh, just for this changing stuff. So I made it just a small room and some lockers and good it's So in these triangle rooms uh, I put the shower and the toilet. Okay, searching for a nice light that is looking a little bit old-fashioned. So everything should look a little bit old-fashioned in this um, thermal bath, but should be of modern standards. So that's how I know it and how I like it. So the all the water and whirlpool stuff are quite new, but the style is to look um, a little bit old-fashioned. And here in the ground floor I make something like a cafeteria, a bar and some fridges where you can take some food because if the sims go to this um, wellness temple and they become hungry I think they should find something to eat that they don't need to leave um, the wellness area they can just stay there and eat and drink there and then later can go on with the sauna and the swimming and all the fun. And I really look forward uh, to go there with my Jenny from the 100 baby challenge. And yeah, I'm sure I will put this into my the world of my English challenge, the Globetrotter challenge as well, because there I thought I let Eric go to the usual lots that are delivered with the game and then when he has been there, so in this case this karaoke bar that has been on this place, uh, afterwards I just crash it and put my own building, this thermal bath, and then um, Eric can visit uh, my self-made building. And so he has the double fun of discovering new different um, community lots. So I think maybe I will slowly, slowly, not the next part, but maybe afterwards, I will start to let him get to know San Marcino better. And then he can first visit everything original and later my places. So you will see this again if you watch um, the Globetrotter challenge. In this is my English challenge. Oh, and in the meantime, I uh, made a yoga room, a small yoga room, and two massage rooms for the whole body massage and one massage room for foot and hand massage. And here I'm just looking how to decorate this even more. But I'm not so so much of a uh, decorator everywhere, so I don't clutter the rooms so much, because somehow I like it when the space is 
clear and open and not everything is full with clutter and decoration. So some people might think, oh, it's so empty in my builds, but mm, somehow it's on purpose. I like it like that. A little bit decoration, yes, but not everything full and crowded. In my house everything is full and crowded. The house is much too small for all my video work and my book writing and so and I need so much stuff and I would be happy to have an empty wall where to hang a new picture and therefore in my builds there are some empty places. Okay, here I'm decorating the uh, the ground floor with a whirlpool and a fountain. I wanted to make a little pool there, but the place was not big enough. And therefore I just put a whirlpool there. Okay, and I changed the the floor outside to have it more rustic looking. Okay. Yeah, and a f rose hedge around the lot that the people can't come just come from outside without going through the dressing area. And here I'm just putting an outside sauna. Um, yeah, I think an outside sauna is absolutely needed for a, a wellness area like that. But the problem is, uh, as the main house has a high wall height, this outside sauna has it as well. And therefore it looks a little bit strange. It's so high, it's much too high for an outside sauna. Usually these outside saunas are a small huts, more or less, and this is looking a little bit strange. I was thinking about um, deleting this small sauna because it's too high, but I definitely want to have an outside sauna and therefore I left it. And But I'm not really happy with it. So if there's once the possibility to have different wall heights in different buildings at one lot, I would change this. So and I made a toilet and a shower and they are high as well and they are looking strange. but what to do. If you don't like it but you like uh, the rest of the building you could just delete it. That is easy. One click. Um, two clicks. But easy. And But when I um, tested this building the Sims like to go there to the outside sauna and I have this l very small pool I don't know whether you have this in English speaking countries as well in your sauna this is with ice cold water so co much colder than usual swimming pools and after you have been in the sauna and then taking a cold shower you just go into this very small pool to become really refreshed. 
and afterwards you can have a walk or sit down and relax and not everybody uh, goes into these very cold uh, cold tubs but I love them a lot and therefore in my saunas there are those cold pools and now I want to put something to relax and some lights to make it look a little bit more romantic and cozy Oh, and there is um, monkey bars and this well where you could go inside and jump and have fun and I thought it, for me it's important that kids may have fun in this uh, wellness temple as well and therefore I put those things inside okay kids enjoy the whirlpool too and the sauna but yeah, with the monkey bars they can um, develop their motor skills and they can swim and they can spend a whole lovely day there at the Gaia Thermal Bath as I call it Gaia is the goddess of the earth Mother Earth and I thought that is a nice name for a thermal bath because the hot water comes from the earth and so there is the connection and now we are in the basement and here are more saunas here is the real sauna place with um, several saunas and in real life you have a sauna with um, 100 degrees celsius and one with 60 degrees so that is not as hot and with um, steam and uh, some with delicious smells and some without smell and so on so lots of different kinds of saunas and therefore I put uh, several saunas Okay, and uh, I just cut away a, a part where I put lots of um, coats at the wall because uh, that's how it is. Everybody has his his uh, bathing coat hanging there, and there is a big cool po um, pool and here you can just o not only refresh but swim inside uh, after being in the sauna and there will be the relaxing area and first I want to make the seats that um, look like long seats and then I thought okay that looks better but in in the actual gameplay the sims can't really use them so I just put them I divided them and made the uh, the chairs and the seats apart from each other that the sims can really use them and here uh, this is the part which the sims can't use either usually in a sauna there are small small bathings for the feet hot and cold and I just put this small fountains there and they look a little bit alike but the sims can't bathe, bathe, bathe their feet in these small fountains and here I put a wardrobe and outside I put several of these party bushes 
or bushes and that you may uh, woohoo in this uh, thermal base as well. So you can have woohoo in the whirlpool. I add another whirlpool because I wanted one with a door that you can close. And here is the garden. And that's the end of the build. So enjoy the video tour. And thank you for watching. I wish you all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.